Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Excuse the little bumpies. I don't know why my face has just decided to start breaking out. I, I don't, I don't know. Just ignore that. So today I'm going to just sit down and film a look with you guys. What am I gonna film? I don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna do like a green look or something just cause I love green eyeshadow. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I just kind of laid out some palettes that I think would be good for that and we'll see what happens. So, cause I know a lot of you guys like these videos, which I always told myself, like when I started this channel, I was like, you know, I don't wanna do makeup tutorials just cause I don't edit my videos and it just takes such a long time to get through one video. So anyway, just laid down my tape I need to turn on my ring light. Oh, why is it on the other end? The, so my ring light has this like little um, control panel thing. And every time I sit down, it, I swear it moves. So anyway, got that down, got my light. Alrighty. So I'm just going in with this e.l.f. primer. These are really affordable too. This is like two bucks, I think. I'm trying to find my, I am never prepared for videos. Like that's why I always remind you guys, like I don't edit because well, I, uh, I never know what's going on. I love this e.l.f. primer. They changed the formula on it. I tried it like I think two or three years ago and it was so bad. Like I did not like it. But I tried it again for like my e.l.f. drugstore video or something just to see. And it actually wasn't that bad. They, they had changed something on it. So speaking of e.l.f., I'm going to go in with this blending brush and I'm going to go into this Anastasia Riviera palette into this white shade, which is called Sales, to set all of this goodness. Oh, that is a white, if I ever seen one. What was I talking about? Oh, the e.l.f. primer. Um... So yeah, I just tried it again and it wasn't bad and it's actually like one of my favorite primers now, which is crazy because I remember like completely hating that thing. But they must have done something to change the formula to where I like it. Oh my God, that zit is driving me bonkers. I don't even know how in the world that happened because it wasn't there yesterday. And I'm gonna be filming, oh, I'm gonna be filming another video after this. So my eyes look like really, really dark. Like they look black, that's kind of creepy. So I'm gonna be filming another video after this. So if you see me in the same eye look, that's why. Alrighty, let's see. Uh, let's go in with something. A green. I'm going to use the Meant to Be palette from ColourPop. And I'm going with this shade, which I can't pronounce it. Dementh? I don't know. I don't know. This was a really good job by ColourPop. Like this is like a job well done with this palette. And for only 12 bucks, like you can't, can't beat that. And it's green, I love green eyeshadow. Green, purples, and pinks are like my go-to. I had a phase, a phase, where I would only use browns and like light neutrals. So I bought all these palettes that had these colors in it and now I don't use them. I think I go through phases with my eyeshadow, I really do. But green was always very 
consistent because my high school that I went to, the color, like the, ooh, the class colors were green and black. And so for like high school football games, I would wear green, like dark army green eyeshadow. And that was back when I had no idea what the heck I was doing with my makeup and I looked ridiculous. But nevertheless, I wore green eyeshadow even in high school. When I did wear makeup, I was also someone that was not a morning person. I still to this day, I am not a morning person, you guys. I don't like mornings. I'm just not a morning person. I am a night owl. And so I would not want to wake up early, early in the morning to do makeup. Like some of the girls in my class, they were waking up at like five, six o'clock in the morning to do their makeup. Mm -mm, not me, honey. Not doing it. Not today. So alrighty then. Hmm. What else do I want to do? I'm gonna go into this little Huda palette. This is the Emerald Obsessions, which I love. I'm just gonna go into this um, pastel colored green, and I'm gonna. Put it somewhere. I'm gonna put it like right up here. I love these little mini Huda palettes. Yeah. I think she did a really good job in her little obsession palettes. I still have I don't have any of her big palettes. I have, well, I have one. I have the Mercury Retrograde palette and I've not even tried it yet, you guys. Like, no joke, I've not even tried it. It's still like in my drawer in the packaging. Alrighty, let's see. What color I want to do. I think I'm gonna go into this shade because this is like one, well, or maybe that one. No, I'm gonna go into the slight one. I may look ridiculous, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Where's my Morphe brush? I have like certain brushes that I use, you guys, and if they're not clean, I legit won't do a look. I have certain brushes that are my favorite that I have to have. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I wish that she had put names on these, but she didn't, so I'm just gonna move on do some fix plus now i use fix plus like religiously like i use fix plus more than i probably should but that's okay now the thing with this shade is you do have to work with it a little bit because it is a very glittery shade and it may not even show up on camera right there it's just a very, very glittery shade, so it takes a little bit of working with. It does have some fallout. Fallout doesn't necessarily bother me, but, you know, if it's like, looks like a water fountain of glitter, then we are toxic, but this is so pretty. I'm probably going to try to get um, more of these emerald obsessions. I'm not the emerald, of these little obsession palettes. I'll be, I was using emerald as well, so that, um, because they are so good. The only ones that I don't have is the ruby and the sapphire ones. I don't have those, the red and the blue. The emerald one was the the one I'm using now, which is emerald. It was the first one that I actually purchased from her. This was like the first palette I ever purchased. And probably will be the first one from her that I need to repurchase. So probably will be hitting pan in this shade like sometime soon because I just use it so much. So, anyway. 
So, for those have been, who have been following me for a while, or has been watching my videos for a while, I guess I should say, um, I just did my 100 subscriber giveaway, and I also did a Twitter giveaway. So I had two. I had the YouTube giveaway and then I had the Twitter giveaway. And I just announced the winners. So excited for them. They went, the stuff went to two amazing, amazing people that have always been so kind and so supportive, which is all I could ask for. It, it means a lot that you guys take time out of your day to watch me. When I started my YouTube channel, I did not think that I would even get 20. I thought I honestly would have the same like 15, 20 people just watching my videos over and over again and I would never get so many of you guys. And to have 150 approaching 200 is just, it's, it's amazing to me. So thank you guys for watching my videos. So I'm gonna go into this Kylie palette. This is the Blue Honey palette and I'm gonna go into the shade Blue Honey, which is a matte which may end up green. I don't know. I, I'm trying to use this palette more because I don't use it. I bought it and I don't use it, which is really, really sad because it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. Just gonna kind of make that a little darker. I don't know why I do this but I always put like darker shades on the outside and then I don't put it anywhere else. I'm very weird when it comes to eyeshadow and makeup. But I'm not a makeup artist. I will never claim to be a makeup artist. It's just what I like. All right, so now let's do some eyes. I don't know what I want to use. I have a drawer of mascaras. Mm, let's go in this elf one. Let's use let's use some drugstore today. This is in the shade black, and this is their lash extending mascara. That's actually really nice. I'm gonna have to clean up my face a little bit because there is a little bit of fallout from that Huda shade. Every time. Ah! We'll have to fix that. I wasn't planning on doing foundation today anyway because I'm lazy. Alrighty. I'm telling y'all, makeup wipes are the best thing ever invented. <laughs> so I'm gonna take uh, these guys off. And that is what, that's what the look turned out to be. I'm just gonna kind of clean up my workspace, my area. So I'm not gonna do like foundation or um, blush or anything or highlighter or anything like that just because I have a zit and I don't want to clog my pores even more than what they already are so we're just going to do the eyes today so yeah that's it I managed to that didn't turn out too bad I don't think if it looks horrible tell me <laughs> so anyway that's it for today's video just a simple tutorial get ready chat video yeah so if you see me with this eye look in the next video then y'all know I filmed two videos in one day it happens so all right guys I'll see you in my next video bye